Howdy folks, Kerbo here. Welcome back to Grizzly Greek. I've got two long logs. We still haven't had any other spawn. But I've got the bison and the crane on the Western Star staged out of the road. So we're going to try to ease on out of here. These two logs. And we'll at least get them loaded. Then we'll have to wait for some more. Crinny doll wheel to get going here. I'm gonna get away from there and then lower these logs, perhaps. Well, maybe they'll stay in the claw. We'll try it. Oh, logs available at new scavenge site. Let's take a look at the map. What have we got? Short logs not what I need. <laughs> I was actually hoping for some short logs earlier to put on the Western Star just for weight on the crane truck, but I've already got it out there, so that does mean no good. We need some more long logs. But this skidder is such a beast. We're just going to drive on out of here. In fact, is this shallow enough? Probably just drive right through. Maybe. Eh, it's a little deep. Hung up on the tree a little bit, but we can work our way past that. Looking for vegetation here. Let's see if we can go across here and then just intercept that road. Save a little bit of time. Maybe go over some of these smaller trees. I just noticed I'm almost out of fuel. Should have refueled this. Probably before I started this trek. We have fuel out here at the highway. Hopefully we can make it to the highway. Switch the two wheel here while we can. We're almost to the highway. We can bring the. Oh, we can't bring the other bison now. I've got it blocked off with the other truck. We'll, we'll figure something out. I can always move the crane truck if I have to. This thing does not turn very well. What I wanted to do was pull right up beside here. But I'm just hitting the Western Star. I'm going to pull up here and then drop the locks right there. Hope for the best. Try and grab. Hopefully we can reach those with the Western Star Crane. Oh, we're smashing the truck. Alright, these logging trucks are designed to take a beating. Alright, now we should be able to refuel. From the bison, let's just hop over there. Nope, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. What did I just do? I'm not even sure what I just did. Did I unhook the trailer? That's what I did. I unhooked the trailer. I didn't refuel. 
There we go. That's what I was trying to do. My uh, clicking areas got overlapped. All right, it's going on dark again. Seems like it gets dark a lot. Let's get the skitter back over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Out of control skitter. A little more of a drop off there than I anticipated. There we go, cover these logs. And we're gonna see if we can get these two long logs up on the bison. So we'll just switch over. Nope, oh, switch to the Western Star. There we go. And we've got the anchors down. We want to go to crane mode. Then do we have a light? I have a light on the crane. And that's uh, not quite close enough, but I think we can drag them closer. Perhaps. Uh, and how do we rotate? We want to rotate with spacebar, and then crane grab is five. Close. There we go. And that little line go down really, really helps you get lined up. on log. Alright, let's switch to a different view now. So, not the best wind-up log in the history of logging. We're going to need to get a different grip. Maybe a little bit closer to the center of gravity. Upsie daisy. I've got the log on the wrong side of the crane. Try not to put this through the windshield of my truck. It's on the trailer. It's about all I can say for that loading job. Get the other one on. I'm not sure if we need three or four to make a load. I'm sure we need more than two. So I'll just grab this guy right at the end. better job than we do with the other one. Doesn't want to go under the log. That's okay. Yep, yep, yep. Back over there. It's already slipped out. Sort of grab? Nope. 
Oh boy. I thought I was close to the middle, but as you can see, I was nowhere near the middle. So let's get this over this way. Find a camera view that works. I'm a danger to myself and others running a crane. The cranes in farm sim are a lot easier to troll, seems like. All right, it's it's on the trailer. In a somewhat straight fashion. I say somewhat. Probably quit while I'm ahead, huh? What would that be? Alright, let's call that good. So I can turn the truck off. Hop back in the skidder, freshly fueled. Just romp right over everything, as the skidder does. So now the wait is on for some more long logs to spawn. That's just the original two. Yet to see any more. I've cleared out several of the little log kiosk things. So there are spots that they can spawn. medium logs that I don't really need. At least not right now. I'm trying to do long logs. So I'm going to turn this guy off. And I'm going to wait. I'll see you in a bit. Alright. For y'all, it's been a nice little quick transition. But for me, it's two or three days later. And at least an hour, hour and a half of gameplay. We finally have some more long logs. For whatever reason, it took the game a long time to spawn long logs. It kept getting short and medium. So I would empty the little uh, spawn points here. Dump the logs hither and yon. We finally got a couple more long logs. So we can go get our bison loaded up. And get this map finished. Yeah, I could have just finished it out with, you know, some medium or short logs. But I was kind of wanting to get the uh, bison going, so that was the goal. Let's go crane, and then we're going to come down. Kind of want to back up a little bit, but we'll drag these forward like this. get a little further back grip on them like so there we go but I could run right over that tree and I was wrong so we're gonna drag these out to the highway get them loaded up on the uh, bison 
and head on down to the sawmill. Now, unfortunately, we're not able to split the load between the two sawmill points. So I'll still have to take a little load of something down there. So I believe we have one point left in each of the sawmills. But I do have a load here on the Western Star. Now, where am I going? It's getting a little dark here. This is the road out. Okay. Just want to make sure. The skidder doesn't really need a road, so just kind of drive wherever. Why well, I wasn't paying too much attention to where I was. Gets along pretty good in just third gear. Just ripping and tearing. So we'll get these logs over there, and then I'll get the Western Star back over here. I was grabbing logs with the Western Star and emptying out the little spawn points. I was starting to get a little concerned that we weren't going to get long logs. But it finally happened. Cut through here. Made a bit of a mess here with this interchange. Better gear down. I'm just going to spin. There we go. I want these about here, I think. Don't know that we're going to need the skitter anymore, but let's get it fueled up while we're right here. Because why not? No damage, so we're good there. Even got a trailer ready to go. <laughs> Just trying to get logs off of there to get some long logs to spawn. Rawr. Push over that tree. Alright, we'll set this one here. Hop back over here in the Western Star. So we need the crane. So, we'll slog our way back out. So, I'll probably get the long logs loaded and then off camera I'll run this over and unlock and then we'll take the bison over. That's kind of the grand finale. We've yet to use the bison with the long log trailer. It's kind of that weird blind corner. Off in the swamp a little bit, not too bad. I found a couple rocks. 
Didn't realize I was dropping those logs right there in the way. Let's see if we can ease up out of here past those logs. No problem. Now, I wonder if that'll let us reach. Let's give it a try. So we want to get the anchors down. Hop over to crane view. And try to see what we're doing. We go as far out as we can. No, nope, I want to grab two. Can I grab both logs? That would be ideal. And then I want to bring those closer. Doesn't want to give me a camera view that works because I think because the hill is in the way, maybe. Let's do that. Uh, where's the middle of these logs? That's what I want to know. Can you go a little further out? A little further out. Hitting on the crane, I think. <laughs> Not able to swing it very good. Oh, there we go. if that's going to be anywhere close to packable. Let's find out. Change truck. Oh yeah, you have to have the engine started, don't you? Look at that! Whoa, truck. Easy. Alright, cool. So we got that loaded. But we're going to let that set. Change back over to the Western Star. Going to pack the crane. The anchor's up. And I'm going to head on over with this load. I won't make you guys watch that because you've seen that before. We'll run this load over and then we'll hop back in and we'll take the bison over. And we'll get this map finished up. So I will see you in a bit. All right, we're ready to go with the bison. And I got over there with that other load and realized it's been so long since I recorded the other episodes that I forgot. We were, we only had uh, one load left. We'd already gotten that one, one shot. So we just need four points left, which hopefully this will give us. Uh, that's assuming I can get moving. There we go. We need a, a little more traction, a little less spinning. It's trailer up on the road. Yeah, man. Go truck. There you go. Knock that sign over.
Oh, oh, wrong gear, wrong gear. <laughs> there we go. All right. Long logs on the move. Finally. Pulling this load uphill in third gear. Like a beast. This thing does have plenty of power. You just don't want to get off the beaten path too far. So we'll see how this trip goes. A little bit of mud here and there to look out for. And of course that one crossing over by the sawmill. This should be interesting. Might have to use the winch there. Should be a fairly straightforward trip as long as I pay attention. I could get in a little bit of trouble if we get going too fast. Uh, we got enough gas. Let's just keep going. I usually stop there, but I'd already topped it off from the tanker. Man, look at this load. Flopping around. I'm gonna get a screenshot here. A giant load. Got a tree in the way. Proving to be a little bit of a challenge. All right, on past the muck. Luckily, this truck does have diff lock in the back. Or we'd be in some real trouble. Work our way back up through the gears. Ride from the trailer view here for a little bit. But it's a little hard to tell what the truck's doing when we're doing that. <laughs> so maybe I better stay up here. These logs do uh, really get to rocking and rolling. Oh, sometimes the camera does weird stuff. But uh, it's coming on daylight, so that's good. Need to make this strip over there in the daylight. Love the articulation there and the bouncing. So we're almost made it to the bridge. Well. Now, it might be a little bit of a tough haul getting up that hill past the bridge, and then we have to make the sharp left. I think that and then that water crossing is really going to be our only challenge. So, having said that, hopefully I don't screw up something simple. We run at this hill. Rawr! Keep the momentum going. Oh, I didn't turn quick enough. Didn't get that big old long nose around in time. So we gotta start over. But we, we got the trailer up the hill, so that's the main thing. Just didn't quite get turned in time. So we got the muddy route, which is shorter, or the highway route with a water crossing, which is longer. I don't think this would do well in the mud, even though it's mostly downhill. So we're going to take the highway route and then see how we do with the water crossing. Oops, back on the road. We could go that direction, but I have a feeling we'd, doing, we'd be doing a lot of winching. So here's the challenge right here. Water over road. So we're going to head right in here. No fear. Kablam. <laughs> uh, then we're probably going to have to get the winch out. He's really not wanting to move too much.
Yeah, she's just just sitting there spinning. Tie off on that big tree there. <laughs> that whole tree just feels the shock there. It's like, oh my goodness. Oh boy, come on. Rock, you're gonna have to pull. I know you're not meant for off road. It's actually a good screenshot right there. Not really meant for this off road stuff. Look, you can't even see the tread on the tires. All right, let's get the uh, the winch tied off. Let's see if we can get this trailer moving forward a little bit. Just not going anywhere. All right, can we get to? Yeah, we should be able to get to this big old tree again. Good thing that big tree's there. Oh, that's a different tree. Almost clicked drop drop load. That's a big tree. There we go. Now we're tied off on the big tree again. Let's go. Whoa. Maybe that's why they put that big tree there. And release. All right, made it. Oh, did I, I, I might have spoke too soon there. Oh, uh, we have, oh, is there a rock there? Just a little bit of a hill of dirt there. Had to get the trailer over. There we go. Had a girl. Claw our way up this hill. Spinning all the way. All right, we made it. Thanks to that big old. Is that a birch? Some kind of big old tree there. Saved her butt. So we just gotta watch the speed heading downhill now. Not get too carried away. Watch out for moose. I've yet to see a moose. I don't know if that's a, a thing. Oh, easy. Easy. Too carried away there. Around the corner there, didn't tip over, that's always good. Ciao, Moose, coming through. And we got to go up around this corner, and then there should be a turn off right here. Here we are. We are almost to the sawmill, and hopefully this is four points. Surely got to be at least four. It's been a while since I delivered long logs. I was thinking it was six points. Alright, here is the lumber mill. Take a quick look here. Who needs the points? The far one needs the points. Alright. Yeah, six points. There we go. Grizzly Creek. 
Game finished. Six hours, eight minutes. I told you it took it took a while to get those long walks to spawn. It was crazy. 1,928 liters of fuel. We've got all six trucks, both garages, all the watch points. Total distance traveled just over 42 kilometers. We got it with one star hardcore. Awesome. Well, folks, that's it for Grizzly Creek. If you enjoyed it, leave me a comment. Let me know, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.